I'm planning on taking a ship to the land across the sea, but I'm waiting for my friend to arrive first. Where is she? I hope she comes soon. Okay, well, thanks for the info. Hello there, my name is Otnum. Otnim. I used to be a simple medicine salesman, but I journeyed by foot from town to town. I started to wonder if there was something better. Uh, so now I'm a traveler drawing pictures as a side hobby and chasing after a brand new set of dreams. Can't you do both? Guess not.
wonderful. I'm so glad everyone's safe.
what's that? It's a big, huge... rabbit? It was so round and meaty! Didn't it look yummy? It must be easy for it to navigate these mountains. I'm envious. Don't you think so too, Edge? Sure. Let's get moving. Rabby, wait up, Kay? Hold on! I just want one teensy-weensy fight! Edge?
a strange manner of dress. The townspeople seem to be ignoring them. Who cares? They don't have anything to do with us. True. Awaken, O oh great king. Stand upon this land and deliver us from the end of time. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Be careful. I'd better stay sharp. Like someone said, ah, was it a scream? Hmm, for a scream, I'd say it lacked a sense of urgency. Oh dear, oh dear, please stop. Somebody save me. I verified that the source of the voice is located up ahead. I'm detecting a number of life signs in its vicinity. I knew it was a scream, you edge. <sighs> Regardless of the situation, we can't ignore a cry for help. But I... I... Somebody! Please! Unhand that me. woman! Damn it all! Get out of here. I'm telling you to get lost! Just go! Are you sure it was best to let them go? Should we not have at least turned them over to the authorities on this planet? What the hell am I doing? No contact. No interference. That's what I swore. Edge. If someone asks for help, you help. That's just the way you are, okay? So, why do you look like you want to cry, Edgy? You haven't done anything bad. You know, if only Edge could think as simply as you, Limmel. Hmm? Are you making fun of me? Oh dear! Whatever am I doing? Me and my manners. I haven't even thanked you for rescuing me yet. My name is Sarah Durand. I appreciate your help. 
They... they moved. Those are real wings. Oh, chicken. So yummy. <sighs> no, no, no. I can assure you, I'm not chicken, nor am I yummy. I see. So you're all on a journey together. Well, I must say, I'm so fortunate you came to my aid. Please, just stop. Pardon? I didn't have any intention of saving you. I didn't mean to get involved. But the end result is that I was rescued, right? I really, truly must give you my thanks. Oh? 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 Hmm... Uh, is there something on my face? My, my, my! I've just remembered! You remembered? What did you remember? Yes! Raimi and Edge, did you say? I was just thinking that I'd seen your faces somewhere before. Then I remembered. It was at the Purgatorium. Well now, this sounds interesting indeed. Yes, the Purgatorium is located in the northwest of this continent. It's the most historic structure there is. Oh my! Are you a giant? What a large man you are! <coughs> Blast! Good heavens! The giant suddenly disappeared. You're a little slow on the uptake. Both of you. So, what did you mean when you said you've seen us before? The stone statues in the Purgatorium. They're statues of the Mu'a, <gasps> you see. But they look very much like you. Mu'a? Some say the Mu'a are our ancestors. But now they're like ghosts. Nobody even knows if they exist anymore. You can't tell the history of this land without mentioning the Mu'a. There's even an entire continent named after them. Mu'a? Ah, uh, yes, I remember now. <sighs> I believe it was the Cardinon who referred to Edge and Raimi as descendants of the Mu'a. Yeah. If the Mu'a and Earthlings are somehow connected, do you think Roke might be involved as well? I see. Yes, that would seem to be a possibility. If that is the case, we may be able to get closer to the origins of both Earth and Roke. Yes, just thinking about it gets the blood racing. Baze, you kinda look like Edgy right now. How about it? I think it'd be worth our while to investigate this purgatorium. <sighs> mm. Edge? Raimi? Yes, you're right. I suppose I'll have to face it eventually. So, are you all planning to go to the Purgatorium? If so, I'd like to accompany you on your journey. You rescued me. Won't you let me repay you by acting as your guide? Oh? Are you gonna come with us, Sari? Yay! If the chicken, I mean Sarah, is coming, then count me in too! <sighs> oh my, Lim seems very nice, but Mary, you're a tad scary. Well, how about it? It sure would be helpful to have a local to guide us. Yes, that's definitely true. Forget it! We can't travel with anyone from this planet! Absolutely not! Right now, I may not be in command, but that is one thing I will not allow! Edge... We don't intend to have any more contact with you people. So, if you're done here, please just go away. Edge, don't you think you're being too hard on her? <clears throat> Whatever our initial reasons, it is we who made first contact, 
and Sarah is clearly motivated only by kindness. No, no, don't concern yourself with me. But please, do allow me to be a busybody about one thing. If you don't ride a bunny, there's no way you can get to the Purgatorium. A bunny? Are you serious? Some nomads are camping outside the town right now. Why don't you go see them about the bunnies? Maybe they can help you. Very well. Take care of yourselves. Let's go. Come to think of it, remember the tent we saw outside the town? Do you think it belonged to the nomad Sarah mentioned? Yeah, you might be right. I suppose we should check 